So my research is in polymer chemistry. So we make materials and then we use them for a whole range of applications going from um, biomedical applications to general materials. So I went into chemistry because I quite like understanding things and I find that with chemistry we can explain pretty much everything around us. And I like the material research because uh, it allows me to touch a bit on all other different types of topics. So it's a very multidisciplinary. So through our research projects, we interface with uh, biologists, with physicists. Uh, we use quite a lot of maths and of course, uh, chemistry, synthetic chemistry, physical chemistry and, and, and other various types. So I'm currently working on cyclic peptides with polymeric materials. So hopefully these systems can be used for everything ranging from antimicrobial to drug delivery vectors. My research is based around um, designing new vectors for delivering genetic material into the body. We work on nanostructured materials, so we really just design the materials at the molecular level and then we use uh, a concept of self-assembly. So we make the molecules and then as polymers and then we let them assemble themselves into organized structures very much the way nature does uh, material, makes materials through you know, protein design, viruses, uh, DNA and so on. Because we, we approach them from a synthetic aspect, we can modify them so we can really tune the properties based on the, uh, the material structure. We are working on a, a lot of medical type of applications, for instance, antibacterials, or we're looking into drug delivery, so trying to enhance the efficacy of drugs. Personal care, we develop materials that you find uh, in deodorant or in shampoos, trying to uh, enhance the uh, surface coating properties of, of paint or viscosity modifiers. And we work with industrial companies that are dealing with uh, oil modification for uh, car engine and so on. So very diverse applications. We have all sorts of different problems uh, around the materials, around uh, what we expected would happen doesn't happen, and then something completely different happened. But that's what makes it exciting. This is when we, we make our discoveries. In terms of material science, we have all the equipment that we could, we could want. We have access to a wide range of GPCs, NMARs, mass spec facilities. The best one, I think, from the group is a, a peptide synthesizer that allows us to make uh, eight peptides at one time, which means that it saves us a lot of time and effort. My advice would be to try and get as much experience outside of the field as possible. Trying out different sort of chemistries, you'll find out what interests you and that's quite important. Be depending on the application, some more the type of skill, that being either material science, physics, biology, that will come in. So you will want to be quite open-minded into your, your science.